guys, what's up? It's White Sox Talk Live, and today I have my reaction to Gio Gonzalez signing with the White Sox, and oh man, this is huge. It's not as big as the Grand Old deal, but it's a big deal because they got him for an absolute steal. If you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, on the Grind 60, hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. Don't second upload today. Later, I will have the top 50 players. Then tomorrow, I will have me drawing that. Although, that video might take a while because it takes a long time to draw people. But let's get into the video. So, Gio Gonzalez yesterday just signed a one year, five million deal, five year, five million dollar deal with the Chicago White Sox. And I'll talk about the Omar Mazzara trade, too. That That's not as big, but I'll talk about that later. But Gio Gonzalez signed with the White Sox, and oh, my God, is this a steal. He isn't going to be, like, an ace in your lineup, your starting rotation. Like, we're obviously going to have better pitchers like Giolito and, like, Kopech's coming back. But he's going to be, like, solid for us. And we got him for a steal, $5 million. It would have been better if he would have signed more than one year, but it's still good that we got him because next year will be good. We got Madrigal coming up. Got Robert. Uh, Yohan's going to have an unbelievable year probably. Kopech's coming back. So next year's big year, and I think they got him for a steal. Next up, we're talking about Omar Mazzara. The White Sox also got that for a steal too because they traded him for, like, absolutely nobody. And it was crazy that that happened, and that um, and that he he's not like a great player, like he's a right fielder because the White Sox need a right fielder because they um lost Gomez who wasn't very good, and then um, and then they didn't have one which I was hoping they would pick up Castellanos which they still have a chance to because he hasn't signed with anybody yet, and the good thing about having Geo on the team. It's because you got Grandall for four years, and they were on the same team last year, and maybe the, it'll work out together for the pitching because, like, maybe they know the same signing and stuff, so that would help out a lot because Grandall was the Brewers catcher last year, and then Gio was on the Brewers, and then before that he was on Nationals. But if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on the Grind of 60, and I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. And bye. See you guys next video. Later today, I'll have my top 50 players. Bye. Peace.